everybody, I'm Salesforce Jen and I like to talk about Experience Cloud. Today I wanted to do a quick video on audiences. Audiences are ways that you can segment Experience Cloud so users see different experiences when they log in. So right now I've got my uh, Schick's Creek uh, website open. This is a fake site that I've made on Experience Cloud and you can see David at the very top is in the favicon. So I am logged in um, as him on his site and I have a bunch of information here. And then I have these over here, right? These are just, if I go over here, these are rich content editors right? um, and we probably don't need that. So we'll delete that and eventually that'll be gone. So I have these here and I wanna show you how to create and test audiences. So right now, David can see them both but if I go to the contact record, I have created two new fields called audience one and two. These are check boxes. And this is a very simple way to create an audience. You can use other logic, but I wanted to give you a use case. So if I look at uh, David's contact record here, I put them up here. There's a section called test audiences that I'm using. And this is test audience one and two. So I want to set it up to only show if maybe a checkbox is checked. So the first thing is, let's go over here and I'm going to go to this after whatever component, it could be rich text, it could be HTML, it could be whatever component you want. When you click on it, you have this option on the top, right? It's a little carrot that says show more. When you click that for me, um, it's on the top, right? Sometimes it's on the top left, but you can go to audience and click assign. Now, if I already created my audience, I can just assign it, but I haven't. So I'm going to say new audience and I'm going to call this test audience one. So under these conditions, we're going to say if you're looking at the user record, which I see right here, and I had put that on the contact and then I called it audience one. So if audience one equals false, I want this to show. So we're going to save and assign that. And that is, let me show you what that is going to look like. We're going to hit publish. Publish is save. Um, if you're in the builder, you should be familiar with this. If this is very new to you and you don't know what you're doing, go back to my other playlist where I show you how to create an experience cloud site um, step by step. Okay. So right now they're both showing because this one doesn't have an audience. This one will show if it's false, which right now it's not checked. So it's going to show for David. But what happens when we go to David Rose's contact record and we make a change, right? And we're going to hit, I need, to, looks like I need to update the settings for this. Um, okay. I think it's my, my uh my editing ability so let's set field level security on this and it's kind of neat that this happened because um i want you to be able to see that there are little things that you need to be able to do looks like we're here what we're going to do is go to the pro my profile and make sure that i just have full access when you create new ones it it tends to need, you need to update it, or at least for me, um, in the back end. It doesn't always happen. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is, but we're gonna go to the object and we call that the con, or it is the contact object. So we're gonna pull up with the contact object and uh, right here and make sure we have access to that field to edit it. So I'm gonna wait for this to come up and then we're gonna add that. I'll pause while we're waiting. Okay, so I'm here and I noticed I do have read and edit access. I waited a little while and it just took a moment for the computer to catch up. So one thing you can do um, is either wait it out or you can um, go up to your view profile, your little Azure avatar on the top right, and you can change your display density. So if I go to compact, it refreshes the page. And I just had to do that a couple of times. So we're going to look at test audience right now. It's set to false, so David sees it. But if I go back to his record, let's change it to true. 
And I told the audience not to show it if it's true. So let's refresh the page and see if it's gone. See how that's gone now? Now let's go a step further back into the builder and let's create a, an audience on this one. So each one can have their own audience or you can sign a page audience. Um, I like to do individual components unless they're looking at different pages, which you can do the same thing. So we're going to set up a new audience and we're going to call this test audience two. And the criteria again is we want to look at the user's record and I've made it on the contact record. And then we're going to go for test audience two. And we're going to say if test audience two is false, then you are not are going to show it. Otherwise, don't. So we're going to hit save and assign publish. Publish is the same as save. Now, while this is doing um, this, let's go uncheck test audience one and make sure that reappears on David's record. And it looks like it should be saved. So I'm hopping around between the builder and a record. All right, so they're both false and they both show. And then we're gonna look at David's record and test the second one. There we go. And let's refresh the page. This one should be gone now. And this is. So where this is helpful is if you have something on, and it could be the count, the contact, something on their record that indicates whether uh, they need something. Maybe you want them to upload files but only the ones they're missing, then you can have one for each file. There's different ways to do this. You can use HTML buttons, um, and then um, you just set that up. And then maybe I want to change my audience so I could actually um, unassign it or edit the assignment. So we're gonna say, I wanna unassign that, and I'm gonna add a new audience. And this is test audience 2.1. And we're going to say, we're going to look at the user record back on that box again, and then the test audience too, but we're going to say we want it to be true. If it's true, then you can, you can show it. Publish. Publish is the same as save. And let's look at David's record. Right now it's true, the second one, so it should show, right? Remember, it's gone here. And we'll do it. And now it shows again. So if you look at your audiences, if I go back to the home page, and I'm gonna to go to my page settings, and there's page variations. Um, if I wanted to make one with a different audience, I can assign it a different audience. So for instance, we only want them to see a full page if certain conditions are met. But also I could go here from the home page, click on the three dots, which show me page actions, go to page variations, and just go to manage audiences. And you can see all the ones I've already created. So you can hide and show things based on that. And some of the options you have or some of the criteria is you could just pick an audience if, if they're in such and such an audience. Um, you don't need to do that. Uh, you could go by location, um, a permission set. Let's see. So we have a, we'll say a standard permission set activities equals yes or no or what other options do we have? Let's go here. Um, you can go to the user record like I did, which got me to the contact record, but I could go to their role or profile. Generally, I like to do it through the user record. It's easier. Or I could, if I was on a record page, say if um, their account record has their, let's say, account rating, equals and then I or does not equal and I look at those pick list values it's right here so if it has that then they get to see it so there are a lot of ways you can create an audience it's more of an advanced um, uh, thing to do but it's super helpful especially when you're working with clients and you want to hide things based on logic